welcome to Bottoms Down Chair Yoga for Everyone. I'm Carol and I'm so glad you've joined us today. We're coming to you from our new studio. We have abandoned our bookcase and we're coming to you from a new space where I've got a little bit more room. It's a very clean look. We're going to be adding some more video, maybe a little bit shorter video, some a little bit longer. So be sure and check out the Bottoms Down Chair Yoga YouTube channel. Check out the different playlists. And while you're there, if you would click that subscribe button, we'd appreciate it and leave me a comment. All right, let's get started. So we're going to start and we only need our chair today. We're going to sit up nice and tall. We're moving forward in our chair so we're not leaning back. And we're going to start by grounding our feet to the earth. Now we do that by taking those pressure points. There's a point behind the heel, behind the big toe, behind the little toe, and the two points of the heel. So we want to think about having all four of those pressure points of both feet firmly grounded to the earth. And then the next thing we're going to think about are our sit bones. So we have these pointy sit bones that we sit on and they hold our weight and we want to make sure that you have them equally weighted on the chair so you're not leaning one way or the other. Next we're going to pull our belly button to our spine, lift the heart up, lower the shoulders down, place your hands lightly on your thighs, Close your eyes and breathe. So feel your natural breath, your natural inhalation and exhalation. Paying attention to that breath. Now we're going to elongate that breath, inhaling a little more deeply, exhaling a little more completely. Now let's move into our yoga breath, also known as the belly breath. We'll engage our diaphragm as we inhale. The belly extends. And then as we pull the belly button to spine, push the air up and out of the lungs. Do that a few times at your own pace. And breathe normally. We're going to continue with that diaphragmatic breath, that yoga breath. We're going to inhale to four counts and then I want you to exhale to just as many counts as you can until you inhale again. Something like this. Inhale two, three, four. Exhale two, three, four, five. Keep going. And breathe normally. Bring your hands to your heart. Set your intention for today's practice, focusing in on what you want to accomplish. One more breath. Bring your hands down to your thighs. Open your eyes. And let's drop that right ear towards the right shoulder. And drop the chin towards the chest. Left ear to left shoulder. And chin to chest. Go ahead and look to the front of the room. Let's look over that right shoulder. We're going to look center and look over that left shoulder. Let's look center and roll those shoulders up, back, and down. Up, back, and down. One more time. And reverse it. All right. Feeling that release in those shoulders and neck. And release. All right. Let's look over the right shoulder. We're just looking and maybe a little bit further. See if you can look a little further over that shoulder. 
right, let's look center and let's do that again, looking over the opposite shoulder and maybe just a little bit further. And release it. Good job. All right, we're going to move into a couple of warm up poses. So the first thing we're going to do is move into a mountain pose. So we start in a mountain with our arms down. And now we're going to take those hands up to the ceiling. We're going to try to touch the ceiling. So really lengthen through the spine. One more breath and bring those hands down. So how did that feel? So if you feel like your, your shoulders are inching up into your ears, I want you to think about consciously think about pulling the shoulders down. So even though we've got our hands up in the air, the shoulders are down. Let's do that again. And we're going to add on. Up we go. So in my classes, whenever I say add on, you don't have to add on, right? If you don't want to add on, you can stay right in the pose that we were just working. But we're going to lean our mountain this time. So we're going to bring our hand down, place it on the chair. Now take these fingertips up as high as you can, trying to reach the ceiling, and then we lean into our mountain, into our leaning mountain. All right, let's come up and we're going to go the other way. So we're going to take that other hand up all the way, try to touch the ceiling. This hand is on the chair for support, and we're going to lean into that, keeping this hip down. You feel that? You should feel a good stretch all the way through the side waist and out that pinky finger. And let's come down and roll those shoulders again. Oh yeah. And reverse it. Okay, good job. We're adding on. Here we go. Let's start with our mountain pose. Let's bring those hands up to the ceiling. Let's take the left hand to the chair, right hand to the ceiling. We're going to lean into it again. And then this time we're going to twist and we're going to look up at the ceiling. Let's take that twist out and come up and we're going to go straight to the other side. Up, 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 leaning into it. And then we're going to turn and we're going to look up at that ceiling, trying to feel a little bit of twist into that side waist. Take that twist out, come up. All right. How's everybody feeling? Good? All right. Moving on, we're going to take our right knee and we're going to open it wide. So here we are in a nice wide straddled uh, pose, okay? So we're wanting to feel the inner thigh stretching. We're going to take this knee, make sure it's in alignment with those toes, and we're going to keep it here. So we tend to want to fold that knee in, and I want you to really concentrate on keeping that knee open. Okay, let's take that left hand, bring it all the way across our body, grab the chair. Now, lift the crown of the head to the ceiling as high as you can. Belly button is to spine, and I want you to turn and look over the back of your chair. So you're not looking towards me now. You're looking the opposite direction and feel the stretch in the side waist and the center of the body. Let's release it. So the twist is happening right at those at the rib cage. Okay, let's do that again. Bring it all the way across your body. Crown of the head lifts, turn, look over the back of your chair and breathe. And release it. Now we're going to move into our crescent lunge. So we're going to take this knee and we're going to let it fall down towards the floor. So I've just adjusted in my chair a little bit. So I've come towards the edge of my chair. Now, one thing you can do is you can keep this knee right in alignment and that knee is going straight down towards the floor. And if you feel a good stretch in this quadricep muscle, then that's a good, good stretch for you. But if you want to join me, I'm going to push my foot back behind me. Notice I'm up on those back toes and my heart is lifting, lifted. No matter where your knee is, I want everybody's hearts lifted and you're going to be looking over the front knee. Just place your hands lightly on that thigh, lift your heart, breathe. Let's release it, and we're going to do that one more time. Ready? Lift it up. Feel the stretch happening in the leg. The belly button is tight to the spine. Shoulders are down. One more breath, and let's release it and face forward. Okay, so we stretch the front side of this leg. Now that same leg, we're going to extend it out in front of us. Toes are up to the ceiling. Extend the spine long. Keep the back flat and let your heart fall forward into pyramid pose. 
All right, let's lift up. We're stretching the back of this leg now. Extend the spine long. Let that heart fall forward. Keep the back flat. Keep this leg straight. Don't lock out the knee. And up we go. All right. Can we do the other side? There we go. Let's take that knee and open it wide. Now remember, this knee's gonna wanna fold in, but please try to keep it open and keep that knee in alignment with those toes and maximize the inner thigh stretch. This is kind of some muscles that we don't stretch a whole lot, right? So let's maximize those stretches. So we're just hanging out here first. We're feeling that stretch, right? Our belly is tight. Now let's add that crescent lunge. Are we ready? Take this knee down towards the floor. Remember, you've got options, so maybe you stay right here with that knee down, straight down towards the floor, and that's a great option if this works best for you. If you're with me, I'm going to take my foot, and I'm going to push it back behind me. Everybody, lift your heart. Try not to have a grip on this glute back here, so try to relax this leg, and you'll maximize that stretch. You should be feeling it. Looking over that front knee, place your hands lightly on the thighs, heart is lifted, breathe. One more breath. Let's release it and do it one more time. Ready? Here we go. Ha. <sighs> one more breath and release. Face forward. Let's move into pyramid pose. Extend this leg long. Toes to the ceiling, lift and hinge. Keeping that back flat, right? Maximizing the stretch. So this isn't, can I get my nose towards my knee? This is, can I get my heart towards my thigh? And I don't care how far down it comes, it doesn't matter. But if you'll keep the back flat, you're gonna maximize that stretch. Let's lift it up and do it one more time. Extend and hinge. All right, let's come up to seated. Everybody grab a sip of water. Now we're going to come to standing. Okay, we're going to be on the right side of our chair. We're going to start with a crescent lunge from standing. So what I want you to do is move a little bit forward. So the back of your chair is behind you so that whenever we take that step back, you're gonna have the back of the chair right there for you, okay? So we're gonna start with the leg not next to the chair, okay, the other leg. So I want you to just take a big step back, stay on those back toes. Okay, I'm going to show you from, you keep facing me. I'm going to show you just real quick from here so you can kind of see, all right? Now, there's a, a few things I want you to think about. The first thing is that this knee has to be behind those toes. So this isn't about, can I get my, you know, when you start uh, coming into your lunge, it's not bringing that knee forward. Think about being on a pole and you just want the center of the body to sink down. Do you see the difference? So here I am, and I'm just sinking down. So I'm bending that front knee, but my front knee's not coming forward. All right, hold on to that chair, that's just fine. All right, now here is something, we're gonna let go of the chair, and we're gonna see if we can bring our hands to our heart. So here's some balance, okay? So remember, balance has to do with keeping your belly button to your spine, right? Keep those shoulders down, hands to heart. Now here is our power move. All we're going to do is I want you to take this back foot and I want you to bring it up to the front foot. Try not to take two steps. Try to make it one step. All right, take a deep breath in. On an exhale, up we go. Oh! And extend those legs and come into mountain pose. How'd you do? All right, we're gonna do that again. <laughs> you got, yay, let's do that again. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come forward just a little bit, right? So that I'm, when I'm, when I'm, you saw what happened, right? When we stepped back, let's all go ahead and step back. Now, 
that chair is right in the right place for me to hold on to it if I need it. You got it? Can you sink a little deeper into that lunge? Can you let go of the chair and bring your hands to your heart? How you doing? Whew. You feeling the stretch? All right, one more breath. Can you bring that back foot forward? Boom! Yeah! Lift up, come into your standing mountain. Very, very good. Okay, we're going to do the same thing on the same side, but with the other leg. All right? So now I've got the leg next to the chair. I want you to feel it the other way first because this one is going to be a little more wobbly. It's just weird, but that's kind of the case. So let's take a big step back first. I've got this chair right here for support. All right, I'm sinking down into it. I'm making sure my knee's behind those front toes. And make sure you can wiggle those front toes so we don't want to be gripping <laughs> the floor with them, right? So you want to have that front foot loose. Can you let go of the chair? Bring your hands to your heart. You've got it right here if you need it, right? Try to let go of it, though. See if you can work that balance a little bit. Belly button to spine. Lifting that heart. Shoulders are down. Okay, are we ready? Back foot forward. Stand up. Mountain pose. Are we ready? Step back. Ah, hands to heart. Take a deep breath in. On an exhale, back that foot up. Standing up, mountain pose. Beautiful. Other side. So come to the other side of your chair. We're going to start with the leg not next to the chair. Make sure you're up just a little bit. Here we go. We're going to take a big step back. Yep. This is not working for me. Okay, take a big step back. Ah, ready? Bring those hands to the heart. Whew. All right, we're going to inhale and on an exhale, we're going to bring that back foot up, chair pose, straighten, mountain pose. We're going to do the other leg, straight to it, step back. Hands to heart. Take a deep breath in and on an exhale, up we go. Standing up and mountain pose. Okay, how's everybody doing? Okay, the next thing we're going to add is we're going to add a chaturanga. So a chaturanga is where we move, we, we do a push up, but we use our chair. So we're going to step back behind our chair and you're going to have your hands here on the chair and you want to really be back. Um, I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me a little bit better. I just turned and knocked off of my water, sorry. Okay, you, you keep facing me. I just kind of want you to see me a little bit better what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to have my hands on the chair and then I'm going to take a step back, okay? Now, maybe this is where you are, belly button to spine. Do you see what I'm doing? I'm bending my elbows and I'm pressing up. I'm bending my elbows and I'm pressing up. Go ahead and give it a try. Bend your elbows and press it up. Now what I'm not doing is I'm not doing this, right? <laughs> Do you see the difference? So here, I'm just hinging forward and I'm lifting my heart and I'm hinging forward and my arms are not moving and that's not what this is about. This is working the upper body and those triceps. So see, I'm coming forward and I'm bending my elbows and I'm pressing up. It's hot. Bending my elbows and I'm pressing up. And we're gonna do that one more time. Bend your elbows and Press it up. Okay. You got it? We're going to add that in to our vinyasa. All right. So we're going to come to the right side of our chair. We're going to make that big circle up. And then we're going to dive forward, belly button to spine. And we're going to take that just to that tabletop. Place your hands on your thighs. 
Extend your head long for a halfway lift. Now, forward fold. You've got your chair if you want it. Just however far down you feel like works for your body. And then we're going to roll it up nice and slow. We're going to take a step back with this leg. And we're going to come in to our crescent lunge. We're going to bring our hands to the ceiling. We're going to take a deep breath in and on an exhale, we're going to bring that foot up, bring our hands down into a chair pose. Now we're going to forward fold. And we're going to halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Reverse swan dive up, belly button to spine, and bring your hands to your heart. Let's come behind our chair, and we're going to do a quick chaturanga. All right, are we ready? We're going to bend those elbows in and press it up. We're going to bend the elbows in and we're going to press it up. We're going to do that one more time. And press it up. And let's come to the other side. Let's make that big sun. Ready? Belly button to spine. We're going to dive it forward. And halfway lift. Forward fold, reverse swan dive up, nice and slow, bring your hands to your heart. Take a big step back with this leg. Come into your crescent lunge. Hands to the ceiling. All right, with one movement, we're going to bring our hands to our heart and bring that foot back up. And then we're going to forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. And bring your hands to your heart. All right, let's everybody get a sip of water. And we're going to continue with the ending of our class. Or we're going to continue with standing poses. All right, come to the right side of your chair. We're going to add on to our previous sun salutation. And we're going to basically, it's going to be the same movements. We're just going to flow a little bit faster and we're going to do a few additional repetitions okay all right so I'm, I'm a little bit forward from the back of my chair so that when I come into my crescent lunge I can hang on to it if I want to okay so that's important that you have that chair for support there we're going to bring our hands to our heart we're going to pull that belly button to the spine all right let's make that big circle up and around and bring your hands to your heart. We're going to come up and then we're going to dive forward and we're going to stop in that forward salute. So bring those arms by your side, airplane arms, stretch it out. One more breath. Now we're going to forward fold, okay? So if you want to have your hands on your thighs, you can, or you can let yourself go. Maybe you hang on to your shins or maybe you let yourself go all the way to the floor. Let your head fall, and we're going to roll up slowly. Bend your knees, and we're going to come up and bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that again. Up we go. We're going to dive forward, belly button to spine. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. Bring your hands to your heart. We're going to add on. Up we go. Diving forward. Halfway lift. Listen. Forward fold. Bring your hands to your heart. Take a big step back into your crescent lunge. 
Take your hands to the ceiling. Inhale here. Exhale. Bring everything forward. And forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. Bring your hands to your heart. Hands up to the ceiling. Belly button to spine as you dive forward. That's your exhale. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Bring your hands to your heart. Now we're going to step back with that other leg into our crescent lunge. Inhale here. Exhale. Bring that foot forward and forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. And bring your hands to your heart. Step behind your chair for a chaturanga, a high to low push up. So basically, we're going to bend our elbows into our side waist and we're going to press it up. There's one. Bend those elbows in. Press it up. There's two. Work in the back of that arm. And there's three. And we're going to come to the other side of our chair. Bring your hands to your heart. Up we go. Diving forward. There's your swan dive. Halfway lift. Hands on shins. Hands on thighs. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive. Come all the way back up. Bring your hands to your heart. Let's do that one more time and we're going to add that crescent lunge. Up we go. Diving forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Listen. Bring your hands to your heart. Step back with this outer leg into your crescent lunge. Ha. <sighs> okay, we're going to take that back leg. We're going to bring it all the way up to chair. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold, reverse swan dive up, and bring your hands to your heart. Hands are coming up, belly button to spine as we dive forward, halfway lift, forward fold, bring your hands to your heart, crescent lunge with the other leg. Oh yeah, we're going to bring that back leg up. Chair pose, dive forward. Halfway lift, forward fold, reverse swan dive up. Bring your hands to your heart, step behind your chair, and do a chaturanga, a high to low push up. Ready? Here we go. We're going to do three. One. And two. And three. Come to the right side of your chair. Now, we're going to add in a warrior one. So when we come into our crescent lunge, we're going to take that crescent lunge and we're going to move into a warrior one. I'll show you. Don't worry. Are we ready? Big circle up. Dive forward, belly button to spine. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. Bring your hands to your heart. Hands come up. Dive forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Listen. Bring your hands to your heart. Step back with that outer leg into your crescent lunge first. All right. You got it? Let's take our hands to the ceiling. Now all we're going to do is we're going to take our back foot and instead of being up on our toes, we're going to turn it so that we are on that back edge. So it's kind of that, uh, it's at a 45 degree angle. Our hips are forward. Let's bend that front knee a little bit more. The other thing I want you to think about while we're in our warrior one is I want you to pull your belly in. Extend that spine long. Really think about pulling in and lengthening through the center of the body. All right, are we ready? Take a deep breath in. Same thing. We're going to pull this back foot up and we're going to come into a child, a chair pose. And then we're going to forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. 
Bring your hands to your heart. Hands come up. Dive forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Bring your hands to your heart. I'm mixing it up a little bit, aren't I? Hello. Take this leg, step it back. Oh, that's new. All right, are we ready? Hands to the ceiling. Now let's turn that back foot and make it a warrior one. I just, I'm just heel toeing my front foot out just a little bit because I want to give those hips a little extra grace so I can move those hips forward. The minute I take that back foot and turn it, that's when all of a sudden my hips wanted to go at an angle, but I want your hips to be forward. All right, are we ready? We're going to take this back foot. We're going to bring it forward into a chair pose. And forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse long dive up. And bring your hands to your heart. We're going to do the other side. All right, this is it. This is the last thing, okay? We've got this. So here we go. Big circle up. And we're going to dive forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Bring your hands to your heart. Chair pose. Let's shoot that foot back behind you. Sink into that. Crescent lunge. Turn that back foot to a 45 degree angle, right? So instead of up on those toes, we're turning the foot. Hips are forward. Take a deep breath in. We're going to bring that back foot forward into chair. Forward fold. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. Bring your hands to your heart. Hands come up. Diving forward. Halfway lift. Forward fold. Bring your hands to your heart, chair pose. Step this foot back behind you into your crescent lunge. Let's turn that back foot flat for a warrior one. Let's add those hands for the fun of it. Are we ready? We're gonna take that back foot up. We're gonna bring our hands to our heart. We're all gonna end up in a chair pose. Are we ready? Inhale here, exhale, chair pose. Good. Forward fold. Ha! Halfway lift. Forward fold. Reverse swan dive up. And bring your hands to your heart. Let's all grab some water. Ready? Get some little bit of water. And have a seat. Okay, we're going to sit up nice and tall in our chair. We're going to bring our hands to our heart. We're going to move into a um, Lord of the Fish, half Lord of the Fishes pose. So let's take this right knee and open it wide and let's bring that arm across, grab the chair, crown of the head to the ceiling, Turn and look over the back of the chair. Now you may find you've got a little more willingness, right? That inner thigh's been stretched. Those uh, side waist muscles have been stretched. Let's release it and we're going to do that again. Crown of the head lifts, turn, look over the back of your chair. And release. Let's go ahead and let this knee fall down. We're going to move into that crescent lunge one more time. I know we've done this a few times today, haven't we? It's all good. Oh, yeah. Let's release it. Do that one more time. You can have your hands on the chair if you don't want to have your hands at heart. doesn't matter. Oh, one more breath. And release it. Let's face forward. Extend that same leg out in front of us for a pyramid pose. Lengthen the spine. Let the heart fall forward. Lift your heart up and let's do that again. Extend and hinge. Hinge. 
and come forward. Now we're going to move into our favorite pigeon pose. <laughs> so you can cross right here and maybe that's where you want to be, right? With just your ankle to ankle. But if you're with me, I want to cross ankle to knee. Really feeling a good stretch into that hip area, right? Adding on, extend the spine long and let the heart fall forward. I feel that. Let's come up and we're going to do that again. Extend and hinge. And come up. All right. Let's go to the other side. So now I'm going to take this knee and I'm going to open it nice and wide. I'm going to bring my hand all the way across my body, grab the chair, crown of the head to the ceiling, turn, and look over the back of the chair and breathe. Let's release that and do that one more time. Come across, lift and twist. And release. Let this knee fall towards the floor into our uh, crescent lunge. One final nice stretch for that quadricep. Let that hip go. Release it and let's do that again. and release. Go ahead and face forward. Extend this spot leg long. Toes are towards the ceiling. We're going to lift our heart up and let our heart fall forward, keeping the back flat. Let's lift up and do that one more time. Extend and hinge. All right. Exhale as you let your heart fall forward and come forward. Let's come up, come up, come forward, come up. <laughs> All right, pigeon pose. Cross ankle to ankle if you like that, ankle to knee if you prefer. Extend the spine long and let the heart fall forward. Let's come up and we're going to do that one more time. Lift and hinge. And come on, go ahead and sit back in your chair. Place your hands lightly on your thighs, palms facing up. Take a deep breath in. And on this exhalation, close your eyes. This time that is now. Your time is here, your time is now. Live your time with purpose, with passion, with joy, with love. Get over your obsession with what could have been or what might be or what might not be. Fill yourself with appreciation for what is and for all you can do with it. Let go of the impulse to judge whether it's a good time or a bad time, right time or wrong time. Use your thoughts, energy, and efforts to live the time in the best way you can imagine. Take a step back and look with fresh eyes at all you have, at all you love, at all you can do. In this time that is now, make good use of it all. The miraculous spark of life glows brightly within you right now. Feel the possibilities and act on them. Think of all you wished you could do, all you said you would do, all you'd like to get done. Now is your time to act. Drop your right ear towards your right shoulder. Reach up with the right hand. Give the head a gentle tug as you press that left hand down towards the floor. Release it. Drop your chin towards your chest. Reach up with your hands. Give the head a gentle tug. Release it. Drop your left ear towards your left shoulder. Reach up with your left hand. 
Give the head a gentle tug, pressing the right hand down towards the floor. Release it. Look up just slightly. Open your mouth if you want to stretch your jaw. Look forward, bring your hands to your heart. Honoring one another, we say Namaste. Thank you so much for joining today. Remember Bottoms Down Chair Yoga on YouTube. Give us a subscribe and uh, leave me a comment and I will see you next time.